Okay, hi, Corey Dr. O. You're a thought leader, influencer, and a Nebula nominee. Uh-huh. Uh, I hear you have something to tell the world. Yeah, so uh, I thought I would tell you a little about why I'm supporting the Helsinki bid for Worldcon, uh, which comprises essentially a grab bag of odd facts about Helsinki that mean that you should come and see these things for yourself. So the first is that um, during the, uh, the special period of Soviet relations, which Finns get really pissed off if you call it the Soviet occupation, uh, the Hotel Torni, which was the tallest building in, in central Helsinki, a whopping 12 stories, uh, was KGB headquarters, 12-story building. And when the KGB moved out after the end of the period of special cooperation with the Soviet Union, when they moved out, there was 40 kilometers of wiretapping wire in that 12-story building. So that's the first reason you should come is to see that. Uh, the second reason you should come is, um, is the Avanto, which involves uh, cutting a hole in the ice, uh, getting in a sauna that's filled with um, leathery, skinny men who've gone the alarming color of lobsters and whose ears have got blisters at the tips from where the water is evanescing off and who every time they get up, they say something in Finnish, which means, um, are you suicidal? And you say, yes, thank you. And they put some more water on the coals. And then you run out with them when the water's gotten too much and the blisters on the tops of ears are started popping. And you rub snow all over your naked body. And if you're really hardcore, you get this hat that sort of looks like a fry cook's hat. You dunk it in the icy water and you put it on your head. And then you jump in the icy water through the hole in the ice where they've installed water jets to keep the water from icing back over. And then you go back in. That's a winter thing. In the summer, it's quite different. In the summer, they have midsummers, which is in June. And at midsummers, the tradition is to go and um, get drunk on a lake. And, uh, uh, this poses an enormous health hazard. So if you come mid-June, all the bus shelters and billboards will have signs saying, when you get drunk on the lake, not wh- not if, but when, when you get drunk on the lake this midsummers, be sure to urinate in a bottle. And the reason for this is that people who stand up and wee off the gunnels uh, fall in and drown, and they're d- discovered later with their flies undone and their penises hanging out. And so this is this is a, uh, an enormous health problem here, big public health issue, and so that's another reason you should come. Uh, you should come because uh, Finland used to be part of Sweden and they get furious if you remind them of this and that uh, you will learn the distinction between Nordic and Scandinavian which is that um, Nordic is the word you use for Scandinavian when you're in Finland Uh, you will learn Finno-Ugric languages and and learn to use useful phrases like Suomi and like Kitos and like um, uh, Inhotava uh, and um, you will meet Finns who are good-hearted people with uh, delicious cuisine, uh, enormous quantities of, of booze, uh, fabulous beards, and uh, a close and conflicted relationship with Estonia. Thank you. Thank you, and of course, every single word of that was absolutely true. <laughs>